Hello everyone, this is the second video on uh, organizing your PHP application. Uh, if you haven't watched the first one, uh, I'll suggest you to look at that one, otherwise this video will not make sense. So in this video, what we are going to do is we are going to create a layout, a, a, a look and feel of the whole application. So in the layout, we will add all the common elements that uh, we want to use across the site, such as menu item, footer, banner, logo, and some of the things that you might find is common to everything on the site. This way, uh, the changing of the look and feel of the site is going to be easier because simply you will create a layout is one file only that contains your style and uh, the elements that you need and simply you will uh, apply the layout to the whole application. So let's start. Uh, the very first thing I need to do is I need to create a, a layout file. So I'll go ahead and I will create a file. I'll call it layout.phtml. Now in the layout.phtml, simply I will create the uh, structure of the site, uh, the HTML element. So here you go. I'll go title, my site, and then simply I'll go to the body tag and definitely I'll close the HTML. Okay, let me just make this one a bit bigger so we all can see it. Now, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and create a simple page that uh, contains some menus which gives us access to different page on this uh, application and uh, add some style. So what I'm going to do is first I will go create a container that I can uh, use CSS to manage this container in future. So I'll call it ID container. And uh, here I will have uh, some sort of link uh, to a different page on this site. So I'll go href. Uh, in order to go to home page, I can just simply say page equal home, or I can just simply ignore this because if you remember in our first video, if I don't pass the page parameter, simply it's gonna load the home page. So I'll go ahead and home. I also will go ahead and the test page that we created. So page is going to be test, right? Uh, so we have that and uh, I go ahead and put this one inside the nav to, just for the good practices. Okay, let's go ahead and add this one as well. So I have the navigation. Uh, now I'm going to add the, uh, now I'm going to add the uh, content, right? Uh, so right in here, I go and add, let's say, section. I'll give an ID in case if I want to use CSS to manage this section. And uh, I will go and say, this is my layout. Okay. So, of course, I have to do some CSS, which I'm going to do in a second. But let's go ahead and apply uh, or change our index.php to use uh, the layout instead, right? So what we have to do is, first of all, I have to go and include the layout. So I will go simply say include. Uh, if you remember, we have the view path inside the array config. So simply go ahead and uh, add this dot layout dot PHTML, right? Now I have done this, uh, I simply have to go ahead and instead of requiring this information here, I have to hold uh, the path to the file that is I'm requiring right now. So what happened is in that case, I can include the file that I'm saving the path in this section inside the layout. Let me write the code to understand it better. So what I do is I will go ahead and create a variable. I'll call it main content equal. Uh, by default, I will say, let's make it 404. So this is to eliminate the else part of this code. So I'm saying by default, just load the path for the 404 page or not font page, right? So that way I can get rid of the else part. And here I can simply go ahead and say main content equal view, right? So right now I have the path of the view, either 404 or whatever is the view that is selected based on the page. And then I will load the layout page. Let's go back to the layout. So inside the layout where I have the main section right here, I'll open my PHP, okay, and simply I will go include main 
layout or main sorry content right there you go so now what happened is I include the main content in the layout so if I go to the page I should be able to see uh, some values let's go ahead and try this so if I go back to the uh, if I go back to the uh, Chrome browser let me just go back here okay so local local host 800 it loads the page so as you can see I have the menu this is the layout this is what is uh, coming from the uh, layout itself and this is what is coming from the home page so if I go ahead and click on test then simply I can see the values from the test uh, view right uh, of course I can use some CSS to make this look better let me just do that okay uh, let me go to the page I'll come to the head section I'll create my style section and simply I'll go and say okay let's let's put some uh, some background on the navigation background deep, sky blue right? and whatever text color we have I'll make it white okay then I'll go ahead and add nav ul li let's go ahead and put them in the same line for the list items so I'll go display and line block right and let's put some padding on the right side so I can put some separation between them, between each links. So I'll go ahead and put that pixel. And also, uh, I want to add the uh, default color here. So I'll go nav, li, a, uh, li, a, uh, active, oh, visited, sorry, visited, and uh, nav, li, a link uh, let's go ahead and just do color white text decoration on okay I think that's it now let's add some hover as well right so I'll go nav li a hover and simply I'll go ahead and make the background color black okay now uh, let me just do some 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 let me show you how it looks first so if I go here for now on the Google I can see that I have the menu the hover works and so on so let's just put some some more information here too I want to center the whole container as well so I'll go ahead uh, container and I will just go ahead add a border uh, let's say one pixel solid dark gray Okay, and I'll make the width, let's say 300 pixel, or maybe 800 is better. Um, yeah, and oh, dark, white space, not white space, sorry. Width, right? And I want to have the uh, margin, 5 pixel, auto, so I want to put some space on the top and bottom and make center, right? And I want to specify some min height as well. So I'll go ahead, min height. I'll put the min height, let's say um, 600 pixel. Okay, let's see how it looks. So if I do this now, so this is okay. Uh, I just have this content outside. Let me check my code. So if I have here, okay, I did not, okay, here we go. I've got to put the section inside the container. Right, so just do that the div tag remove the extra space go back to my browser here you go so I have everything in here definitely I can add some some more layout here as well but uh, now if I go to home simply it goes to the home and to the test right here you go I'm gonna remove this is my layout because it doesn't make sense to have the content from uh, the main or index of PHP into every single page so I just take this one out so now if I go back and try I just see the content right there you go does that make sense I hope so okay of course what I have to do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, separate the CSS uh, so I'll just copy what I have here take it out in the public folder I create a file a new style sheet uh, let me just go here I call it style.css okay paste this code here right so now that I paste the code, I go back to the layout 
and simply instead of doing the internal CSS, I'll do external. So I'll go link, href, style, or sorry, um, uh, style.css. Okay, style.css. Relationship is style sheet. And I think that should be it. Let's go back to the browser and look at this. Yeah, very good. Let's test, home. If I look at the source, everything looks okay as well, right? Now, uh, what I want to do is I want to put some identification here. So when I'm in test, I want to highlight this test menu when I'm on home. I want to do that as well. So let me go back to the code and implement that as well. So if you remember from index.php, uh, we always uh, know what is the page name, right? Now, if we know the page name and uh, we are in the layout, we know at what link we are right now. So simply what I can do is this. I can go ahead and let's say I can add a class. And uh, here, I would just go ahead and say PHP um, uh, if page is equal equal home right um, simply I'll go ahead and uh, add I'll create this class like the let's call it active right uh, else I just put nothing in an empty string so in this case if the page is home you should simply select this let me go to my CSS and add the active class for now so I'll go ahead, create a class called active, right? And background color black. Okay, let's see. So uh, if I go back here, if I'm at home, it should highlight that section. Let's see if it does. So I'll go ahead to the test. Nothing happening, right? I come back to home. Still is nothing happening. Let me go ahead and check the source. So I see this is empty. The reason can be, let me just check this one. Um, I'll go back to the code. I say, oh, okay, definitely. I have to put the echo in there, right? So I'm gonna put the whole thing into the bracket just to organize myself. So I forgot the echo. So if I go back, refresh this, you can see the active is here. So this means if I refresh my page, I should be able to see that. I can do the same thing for the other page as well. I just have to go ahead and copy this it in here right and change this one to test right of course you can create a function to do this over and over instead of writing the whole statement you can just call your function call it is active and then return the class if it matches the page and the name of the link otherwise you just uh, remove uh, return an empty string so in this case if I go home oh I did something let me see yes I forgot to close this okay here you go so if I go to test, test is active. If I go to home, home is active. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, now, based on this page layout, you can have your own layout any way you want. You can separate these sections. You can separate the menu navigation system. You can add the footer. You can separate them as well. Uh, based on the user who's logging, if you identify who's the user, you can load the different include file in the layout as well. Uh, you can hide certain sections for those people who did not log in, or you can uh, enable pages that can be seen by the member, for instance, right? So if you have so much, uh, so much possibility here that you can apply to the layout as well. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, in next video, I'm going to add, uh, uh, to use Bootstrap as a layout, and I'll show you how you can apply or uh, use the Bootstrap uh, uh, framework into your application. Thank you for watching.